attack this. anime game because it's like i'm fighting like prussians and austrians in northern italy which is yeah. like really cool i guess yeah do they are all female um they're not all female um they're mostly male but it, they have Only like the the... naked <laughs> um, no one has gotten naked yet. It certainly looks like a porn game. I had to tell Alyssa, I'm like, if you see me playing this, it's not porn. Um, for now. Hunter. What? For now. Big question you know, that's you know. We are live, by the way. Okay. In our other game that we played on Wednesday, did you purposefully set those mobs to counter me, you ass? I mean, a little bit. <laughs> Oh, Nothing God. can counter me. <laughs> Don't say that. I saw that. Well, any AOE counters Cody. Um. <laughs> That's true. Early on, you did a bunch of dan. But the thing is, I can spread out if yeah. I'm smart. Yeah. But the thing that counters me is any combat after this one. Because now I've uh, used my core point and the one extra power cell I had. Yeah. So I can only use two drones now, not four. Oh, shit. And I hate you all because you're all playing Lancer that I wanted to play for. It's so, so good. We should we should figure out a way to do a, a Lancer, like big big boy. Yeah. Love I would love thing. to honestly, like play around with the mechs and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, see what I could do. I'm it's a, so freaking I'm cool. Open to the idea. Because I always do better like planning out like the lot. Like it's kind of cool like um doing it all at once. But the issue becomes like there's so much to read and it's just yeah. overwhelming compared to doing little bits. Like okay, I've got this. What should I start with? Okay, now where do I go? So. <clears throat> Hello and just... welcome everybody. Yeah. Howdy. To Off Scarlet Sash stories, where we play Zwihender RPG on the official Zwihender RPG Twitch channel. Ooh. Um. This is episode 27, uh, brought to you by Fiends and Friends, myself being Hunter, as my, my name tag says. I am the creator, writer, host, producer of this, and I am joined by most of my wonderful cast. We are down one cast member today. Chris, uh, Chris could not be here tonight. But she is with us in spirit. Um, she's also not dead, because the way I said that uh, kind of made it sound like she was dead. Her body. Um, and so, from I was with you guys in spirit once. <laughs> well, yeah, that you were <laughs> dead though. Yeah, that's true. That's true. We've all been dead once or twice. You're right. Um, so from from the top going in counterclockwise order. Beneath me is Topher, as always. Hello. Nacho in the corner. Nate in the in the next space. <laughs> Cody going the around. Time. Yep. <laughs> and then Blue lies. Chris's uh, empty square sitting there. We get it's like Hollywood get RP. What was that? Yeah, you never you never give us RP. Do we or get RP order points. You guys haven't you guys stuff. haven't done do we, anything do worth RP. Get a roll? What do you mean? I'm the hunter on this one. We I didn't really do much that was. I well, died. Whose fault is that? I died, hunter. <laughs> you got I RP mean, after <laughs> dying. <laughs> you could give us like fifty RP for role playing last session. Yeah. So I mean. If you're gonna, have, you're gonna make us have entire sessions where we we mostly listen to you talk, and then you don't even give us points for it. Hey, um, I I just set the stage, and then you guys take forever. Like, yeah, I just go and we don't want to power creep too strong. Yeah, I was gonna say like, let me look at Hart's just, character sheet here. Hart's yeah, okay. I, uh, hey, I we've, just go we've been rock playing trash. for a year, and I'm not even advanced trash rat. yet. I, I bargained with the trash rat. I should get oh, yeah, that's RP. Can we at least get order points or like roll corruption? Yeah, so yeah, I wanted to talk about that. About the rat trash. Oh, let's talk about on stream. Yeah, I wanted to talk about that on, on stream just quickly because we do not super interact with the corruption system a whole lot. Yeah. Um, I think it's and, because Hunter likes to make moral judgments. I don't like you to make moral judgments, or I do. You don't like to, you don't like to make a moral. Oh judgment of yeah, an and it's and it's like wow. It's hard because you guys don't do bad things. 
really Ooh, in the does. long are you kidding me in the long like the long run like yeah like celine oh she's she's a naughty gnome nymphomaniac freak but still doesn't Did you forget about celine and my miasma freaky sex night like, is what? that bad see this is like the... yeah, that's what i mean he doesn't like to make moral <laughs> judgments do you remember that time that Hart actively <clears throat> just tried to murder a man he got corruption for I, killing that man. I he actually kill him. murdered that man. That, no, that guy didn't die. <laughs> no, he the, died. All the way back in the the uh, the spiders <clears throat> on the tongues, you swung at him and he ran away. Oh, that guy. Yeah, yeah. That guy. We were, we were like, he got he got corruption for that too. That yeah, I for sure did not. He for did sure too. Did get corruption back then. Yeah. I don't think you gave me corruption for experimenting on a rat. You you also got corruption for that. These are things that you oh, guys yeah. have been getting corruption if, for. If we, we just haven't been rolling for it um, after the have, fact. I have two corruption in a year, and I have zero ranks in order or chaos. I'm just saying. Yeah, and so that's probably your fault. Um, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe All I right. should just randomly oh, kill it uh, every so session. So there are four people who think one thing and one person who thinks different. <laughs> Um, See now you're gonna get corruption. For, now you're getting corruption for, him, for, for he's being a GM. So what he yeah. says for goes. With the GM. Yeah, you're getting corruption for being of, a jerk. Is that in defense of hard? I don't think the hard killed the guy. The guy died, died from natural causes. Yeah. So uh, hard. Yeah, hard <laughs> definitely strangled loss, that guy. Blood loss is a natural cause. So. In, Gravity is no natural. Yeah. yeah, but I, the blood, blood loss, loss. Yeah, but I mean, what about the? the Strangulation. I don't, I don't think that's natural. No, he. That was a lack yeah, of oxygen. Well, he basically drowned. Yeah. Yeah. It that's was right. just a dry drowning. Yeah, he just drowned and choked on his tongue. Dry time, drowning. No. Yeah, that's actually a thing though. Dry drowning is a real thing. Look it up. It's gas based. Terrible. <laughs> um. So yeah, we. What I think we should do is we should, as a group, kind of determine just advance to level three yeah I no think so too. who just... who would have like more corruption more or more chaos ranks more order ranks Selim. um when as like on a per character basis um because some of like Celine has four chaos and three so, order yeah um, I have, i've never you've never had us roll for it so like maybe once or twice so like, yeah I like, like i should have some definite chaos ranks yeah so that's what for, i was saying is that lying, we should but for dealing with the dark magics like there's a lot of things yeah so like ingesting the miasma and that sort of thing absolutely would give you chaos ranks or betraying corruption god. i think yeah betraying i betrayed god. my betraying god my, my, yeah. my vow twice to a deity. yeah and the, see, the problem is, is that the spell doesn't say that you suffer corruption by breaking it. It's it's a mechanical penalty. Oh yeah, um, but you can but, always add. That but you can, yeah, it. like you can always because it's add like, it, or, it says in the book hand like hand that shit out. Like, yeah. So, I mean, and, I I am pretty. I think that my order chaos ranks are pretty accurate, but I just feel like I should have more. Right. Yeah, and that's definitely, like, the idea of this conversation is that we, mostly me, and then partially you guys don't, uh, like, we just, oh, I'm sorry, we forget about it. for ranks all the time? Well, yeah, you should, like, <laughs> okay. I am fully happy for you guys to be like, hey, should do you think I should get corruption for that? All right, we're going to start um, policing each other for fun. Can I get order <laughs> ranks for apologizing to my friends? Uh, well, see, the problem is, is that you only get order ranks in the absence of corruption. Um, doing good. Well, just, you can't reduce your corruption <laughs> is the weird thing. There's, there's it, no it, for each session. It resets there's every no session. Yeah, there's no incentive to do good only yeah. to not do bad. Yeah. Which sort and that's, of is yeah. like... That doesn't make a whole lot of sense for one specific reason, and it's one of my favorite quotes. All that's needed for evil to succeed is for good men to do nothing. Yeah, and so the idea is is that you, in this, these like horrible, grim and perilous situations that you find yourself in, 
There's good, usually good there. there's job. usually easy ways to do things, and usually those easy ways involve hurting people or screwing people over or doing bad things. And That's so true. the idea yeah. is that if you choose to do things the hard way, you don't gain corruption. The hard way? The hard way. And the so the, way. the... No, don't do things the hard way. And then the, the reward at the end of not gaining corruption is slowly accruing order ranks. Um, I think heart should gain nine chaos ranks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I personally I think nine order ranks. I think he should be pretty high up on chaos ranks. Um, and actually, that's that's a good he has, point. He has committed unprovoked murder. Yeah, uh, at least once. That's, mildly a, that's like provoked an immediate nine corruption murder. Uh, betraying his god and his vows on multiple separate occasions. But look at all the good I've done. <laughs> intentionally, intentionally, <laughs> it doesn't matter what yeah. good you've done. Yeah. It only matters what evil you've done. <laughs> we and, just established this ten seconds ago. And if I were, if I would have been thinking when we had those conversations about how you are changing. I should have just slapped you with some, some chaos ranks. You should have just dumped, like, um, all right, 10 chaos ranks immediately. Take a mutation. Um, yeah, so I, I think Hart should be pretty close to turning over chaos ranks into a... It's not always a mutation. Sometimes it's, like, a mental illness or something like that. But um, Well, he's already had a couple of those unimposed. Yeah. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, my lady. My I I lady think you Lola. should. I think you should have two more, Topher. Two more than what I just put in there. Yeah. Does that put him at seven or eight? That puts him at eight. Seven. That's seven. Oh yeah. Yep, seven. You're I'm a psychic. Um, and then, like four order ranks probably seems. Seems pretty uh, reasonable. Well, you gotta you gotta do this for everybody now, though. Well, yeah, that's that's what we're gonna I do. Four. I th I think three. As three someone, order. As someone who in this party represents the force of good and lawfulness, <laughs> I judge him to be less worthy than than four. Listen, you know how much damage I put out. I am sure <laughs> I've saved your life more than once. But again, it's not it's not the good that you've done, it's the bad that you haven't done that yeah, matters. This is this is the, the argument that the US military makes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know how much damage I do? <laughs> yeah, I'm a good guy. Yeah, look at me. Hearts and minds. Yeah. <laughs> at, literally hearts. Who and minds. else can level a village? Come on. Yeah. I'm just saying, I did like forty damage to that Minotaur. You did. Jesus you, did you did in one attack. You killed the shit out of him. Yeah. Um. So Nesgrin, let's 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 do Nesgrin. This is brittle fist. I. Let's, let's weigh your soul against a feather, shall we? Oh my god. I'm thinking. I'm thinking fairly balanced. Um, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I mean, like this is too. again that that like wishy washy like is it bad to set up an underground fighting rink and like possibly. <laughs> Rig the bets in your favor. I forgot about oh, that. Yeah, like, that's definitely bad. But like, oh, who am really I to say? Yeah, see, he doesn't <laughs> like to make moral uh, judgments. That's definitely uh, bad. Get, You're like you, rigging like, the fight. No, you get to blame for things I get caught. So I didn't get. Oh. Caught. <laughs> but yeah, see, then then it's like, is corruption no. is corruption only in the eye of the beholder? Of the like, gods. yeah, like well, the gods see it as the thing, right? Exactly. Like so, so. It's definitely made no out judge of the find me guilty for that. <laughs> yeah, so that was a good deed. No judge would find Toad for guilty for that. <laughs> yep. For that dead king. Oh my god, this I'm, is my favorite. This is my favorite conversation. This, yeah, I love. What I do love you that. mean I'm a bad person? I have never been caught doing anything. <laughs> Bad in my life. <laughs> I've never I've been never convicted been of anything bad. Yeah, I like the I like that idea of like I can't be evil because no judge would find me guilty. Right. But there's, there's something to be said for that argument. House, and 
circumstantial evidence. <laughs> At best. Yep. Just there like is blood under your fingernails and claw marks on their face. <laughs> hey, circumstantial. I, I, brought, I brought provisions. Yeah. That come full of people dying of hunger. That's Set true. Yeah. So yeah, I I'm Save kind of community. I'm kind of thinking like three of each for Nesgrin. Um, also, just because you you haven't been sash bearing Bummer. as long. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I think I feel like Nesgrin is walking the line of of good versus evil fairly yeah, you, well. You are a very neutral force in the party. Yeah. Oh, very yeah. much so. And I and you probably gave away all our stuff. The... He did. He gave away all our stuff on a lie that turned out to not be necessary in any way. <laughs> I love I love that so much. It was a good lie. It was no, a it good was lie. It was a great lie. Yeah. It just didn't. It wasn't necessary. It, was so it didn't funny. necessarily achieve anything. And that's <laughs> that's. I gotta find the circle and have fun. That's true. You didn't knew that at the moment. It, yeah. It, it once again, it's like net neutral actions that just like. They're not good or bad. They just change the direction of the party in weird ways. Yeah. Well, and I also you're, you're just creating alternate timelines. Is all you're doing. <laughs> A force of chaos. Oh, there it is. Give more chaos. <laughs> this is yeah. This is another one of those like things where I really think we should have like a post mortem or like like a maybe two two episodes of just like talk show about the whole thing once it's done cuz i i don't know what and maybe this is again like maybe a little bit poor communication on my part but you guys coming into Pertswell to like meet the doctor or find him or whatever th you were like so ready to, to throw to throw down yep. um yeah. And, yeah, and so, like, this idea of Nacho being, like, oh, we gotta get us into the castle, like, we can't take it head on, so, like, oh, we brought supplies, and then we'll slit all their throats, and then you get there, and it's just, like, a bunch of happy people. <laughs> They're like, you brought supplies, you're yes. a hero! Yeah. Heroes. Yeah, and then you guys were, like, something's wrong yeah. here, like, you still were like not... Kindness? Yeah, no. you were still no. not, not convinced. What's a good life? Yeah, it was. It was it's so nice. funny. People are, a whole town for murder hobo. People are yeah. nice unless they want something, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. And and again, like I tried to maybe not well enough give the int the impression that maybe the doctor isn't the mastermind behind all of this. And you guys were still like, all right, well, fucking the only thing we had was the up. doctor and shadows and we had no distinction yeah necessarily that one wasn't connected to the other yeah yeah and Hunter, and that's and totally fair definitely seemed evil with like the experiments on the orcs and whatnot yeah, Hunter, so. my, yeah. my character is a dunderhead you gotta spell it out okay? <laughs> yeah i mean if you have you have a gene splicing uh an enigma that doesn't usually start as good that's pretty much the the plot of every like early 2000s like horror movie Mad <laughs> yeah but i mean else. you know there, there are plenty of regular people right now. Maybe not right now, but this day and age who go to work and do seemingly magical gene splicing on no, organisms. Yeah, but, and they're good but, people. No, you're right. I'm not saying GMOs are all bad. I'm saying that <laughs> if someone told me orcs GMO, yeah. my first thought isn't, all right, well, these are the good guys. <laughs> these are the good guys. <laughs> yeah. I still need to get a disorder. <laughs> Oh yeah, because I mean, you, you have plenty. I think currently it's irritable bowel syndrome. You should let, roll that. Roll that I right now. To, I don't know where to find it. It's in the. It's in the book. Oh wow! Thanks, Hunter. You're so smart. Where's my iPad? It must be the GM section. I'm looking in there. Yeah. Okay, I'm GM finding section. it. Yeah. Well, the index on this book is actually good. So props to them because there's so many. Look at our four-page index with jack shit. Yeah. Table of contents has more, which is the exact opposite of what it should be. Okay, gaining disorders. Come here. I don't think you can. Oh, I think it's just like. No. Yeah, it's up to the GM to select an appropriate disorder. I mean, you already have a number of disorders, Nate. They're all medical. You're right. 
Nymphomania. This is under madness, right? No. No. Disorder. disorder. <laughs> but yeah, there's a spot gaining disorder. It's oh, uh, no. <laughs> basically, normally when someone reaches 10 chaos rights, oh, you yeah. assign it to them. So. But like, uh, it's my class gives me one immediately. Like there's addictions. What the hell is Hophead? Other That's... wealth beyond yours? Holy shit. I feel like I could be a fucking hophead, but... So... So, basically, I'm supposed to pick between... Let's see, we've got... We've got addictions, insanities, and mutations. I guess so. I didn't think... Um, like I'm addicted to witch weed. Let me see here. Depending on... ah. <laughs> oh, addiction. Yeah, okay, so. Yeah, because those are the three classes. And yeah. then within those um... classes, there are a bunch of different disorders. I mean, mana junkie would be a good one because I'm already like... I already basically do that. That's kind of how I ended up where I am, too. Well, then we should do something different, so you have to do something different. Yeah, but you're supposed to ta pick something that makes sense. Yeah, you're addicted to... Uh, witch weed. Because you were, for a while there, you were intentionally smoking witch weed for the purpose of gaining corruption. <laughs> it was only two or three times, though, total. Yeah, well, it's a gateway drug. Jesus, guys. The, it's a gateway drug because you took it through the magical gateway. But also, I could see, <laughs> I could see, uh, insanities as well. Yeah. Which one were you looking at, though? I don't know. They're all good. Is there one that involves sex? I mean, um, phobia probably doesn't sound like something good for me. Well, get it. Definitely oh. not pyromania. She doesn't sit there and burn things. No, she's scared of fire. Prophecy of Doom. <laughs> this is so fun. This is the best stream on Twitch. Yeah, we're we're well, we're also gonna. Uh, Celine is next on the determining. Um... Oh no, I meant just me having the cat play with the laser pointer. Oh yeah. <laughs> Where'd you at, Muse? Are you in? The, are you back there? What? What? Look at that. In Did other in other news, game with the spectral steed slashy shooty best game of the year. Yeah. I mean, it might saying. end up it might end up being game Dude, of the year. The orders are so It's a very fun game. I'm not convinced it's the best Souls game as of yet. I don't I just oh want to keep exploring cuz I don't want it to end. Man, a junkie. Yeah, it's cool. Cuz it forces you to channel power. Yeah. Oh, and then he can backlash more often? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's exciting. Right. So, so let's do this. How do you feel about this, Nathan? I I like Mana Junkie, but let's try and let's try it randomly once. Roll okay. roll a d6. Okay. There's a 2. Okay, so that puts us in addictions. Then mm -hmm. one, 2 3 4 5 6 Roll another d6. Three. Gambler's Lament. Yeah, that would be Gambler's. Yeah, because that makes sense. How often have I gambled? Well, <laughs> something happened in your past uh, well, for yeah, you I mean, to be debt-ridden. It doesn't have to yeah, be... but that wasn't necessarily like, her gambling. That may have just it, been it her borrowing money. It doesn't have to be standard gambling, that. though. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't have to be your, your yeah. rank and file yeah. style of gambling. Yeah, you could be addicted to making risky decisions. Yeah, unfortunately, that's not how it works mechanically. Um, oh, damn. But, yeah, so let's give you Mana Junkie. I like that. Okay, because that makes the most sense. And it kind of fits with the Prince of Pre Pleasure theme kind of thing. Yeah, and that's kind of what I was looking for. Like, there's not much else that would fit to it except for maybe Clawing Obsession. Yeah. Is, so. is Selene at three order four? 
Yeah. Chaos? Yeah. She needs hey, to be... look at me. I'm a psychic again. Let's go. You're probably just looking at the stream. I'm not. I don't. I don't. I don't do that. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm being psychic. Don't ruin my day. Sorry. You could right. just give me host to the abyss. Yeah, I saw that one as well. Whatever that does. Yeah. Does Some guy named Mr. Pleasure lives in? Does Miss or does Main Gouch have uh, more Ooh. of these? Oh. What about sub gouge? No, we we want main gouge for sure. Right. I don't think so. Probably not. Me uh, is mine. Hey, you, 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 could, not you can look. You could look something. There are new disorders on that one. New disorders. Gouge, there are more disorders. Possessed. Possessed. Make him possessed by the philosopher. Witch stone addiction. Oh, that's cool. Hunter. What? Sadly How do I turn Hart into a four-legged dwarf with a tail? Um, <laughs> you would need a lot more chaos need... rings. <laughs> okay. Right. You need uh, you need one more leg. Wow. Gross. You don't like that? You've been talking to Celine, haven't you? He saw. He doesn't have that. to talk. I remember. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> I remember, but I'm not happy about it. Um, the cat stopped playing and is taking a poop, just in case anyone was worried. I was worried about the cat. Also, let's see. And you're trying to get to 10 to get a demonic gift, right? How does ten that... 10 order ranks now. Oh, 10 order ranks to get to a demonic gift. Yeah, which... Seems very counterintuitive to me, because when you get that to the like that order rank or whatever, like instead of gaining the fate point, you can choose to get a demonic gift. Yeah. So you know, oh. to get evil gifts, I have to be a good noodle. Well, I thought. Let me remember. You don't have to be a good noodle. You just have you to just not, have to be, not a be a bad noodle. Bad noodle. <laughs> <laughs> And there are only two she, types of noodles in this world. Lately bad she and hasn't, neutral. Like, lately <laughs> yeah. she hasn't been that bad either. So like one the worst thing yeah, was you've... probably fucking with her friends like okay. she too. Yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, so so giving Nate, all your friends panic attacks is pretty fucked yeah. up. I do I do want to point out that as part of this ecstatic celebrant class, you don't have an order rank anymore. You are perverse. And martyrdom are your yeah. two, like, order, your order alignment is perversion. So you're not being, yeah, so, you're not being a good noodle to get order yeah, ranks. it's you being obsessive and compulsive and fucky. Yeah, and so, like, I could yeah, give you... I follow some of those pervert, unless you're going to start actually awarding order ranks for doing stuff like that, then I'll fucking... No, I but, like... All the time. But, yeah, so I could, I could start giving you corruption for not being perverted is the idea like yeah if you... he, he could give uh, you literally he could just give you order rank for having sex with one of your friends yeah that you yeah. knew you shouldn't have yeah so i mean no, like I shouldn't have <laughs> well well so it's, it's sort of a of it's sort of a this is why you don't fuck your coworkers kind of thing. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> who Celine is in the whole conversation you had. She doesn't know how to act around people very well and just does her own thing usually. Yeah. And doesn't think about how others are, how it might affect them. Because <laughs> it's always been look out for me. Look out for the grotesque goblin number one. Exactly. Um, yeah, so let's, so you gained, uh, Mana Addict. Yeah. And then... That where art disappears. Of course, where I put my profession shit, because there's... No oh, yeah, I see that. Stuff. Get pranked. Um, I, I personally think you should have... Two... How long ago did you get your second class? Pretty recent, uh, right? Um, the, during, like around when everybody else did, like a little bit yeah. after. It was when we all had our awakenings, basically. Yeah, before before you guys went to the stone circle, she she yep. gained the ecstatic celebrant class. 
so that was before you even met the philosopher um, at the castle, presumably. Mm-hmm. After meeting, uh, after meeting Yinzo and and figuring yeah. out that he wasn't the bad guy. So I think you should have at least two more order ranks. I think two of each. That's what I was gonna say. Two order and two I chaos seem seems right to me. I've been going for like a balancing act anyways, but I do need to start cranking out my order ranks so I can get my demonic gift. Yeah. So you you don't want corruption then. Which is uh which means that you need to be acting perverse <laughs> all the time. She does that all the time. Yeah, she I can't imagine true. Yeah. <laughs> Not terribly challenging. <laughs> yeah. Um, sweet. And then Lillian. That's me. I'm currently seven and one. And that feels about right. I don't remember where I got the one. I think it was just some one of the random times we rolled. Yeah, we got corruption yeah. from being exposed to something or something like that, think, and then we rolled bad. Yeah, it may have been the hor- the the cow to peed, or it may have been like the like the very first session that when we went back and rolled for it. Yeah, because of the us lying and smuggling the cats into which we. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we corrupted it. Yeah, you made Colic a bad boy. <laughs> oh, Colic, you're so bad. Um, but yeah, let's see. If we, we should try to make them at least somewhat even between you guys. So yeah. if, if between me and Nate. Yeah, if Nate's got one, two, three, Nate four, 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 five, six, 11. seven, eight, I'm nine, at 11. ten, eleven. Yeah, so I would need four more as well. I mean. That would technically put you over the edge of um, getting another I fate point. Think of more bad things he's done. I mean, like lied. But other yeah. than that, like I, I have lied. Um, you have helped me try and hook up with the captain, even though we know he's married. I, yeah, but I. <laughs> I don't know if I view it's again like that yeah moral it's like is right? that bad yeah. it's like I'm doing it to try and help you because yeah. we also know that he's not happy in his like, marriage ethically yeah but still ethically like they're still married oh, like I'd say yeah. at least like one corruption point but I don't know it's something like to consider like if we we're going to give him like all order ranks or one chaos rank I'm trying to kind of yeah I mean if we, even out. if you gave me one chaos rank and it three, would still yeah. it would still hit me uh, yeah. cap me which would reset them all, right? Exactly. But like if if we don't, you just get like that and then an extra order rank to set you over, so. Well, I think I think that's true. Yeah, I think, that's true. Yeah, I think if you're true. if you're at 9 order, it doesn't reset until you get the 10th one. And then then it resets and you get the favorite. He's board. at 7 though. Eight, I'm at seven, nine, right? 10. Oh no, I'm at third. 6. You're yeah. Right. There's oh, okay. 9 bubbles they, there. They would all need to be 4, right? Yeah. yeah. So I would say so you fill you fill all 3 and then get one more to go over. Yeah. So I would say oh, okay. do 3 order and 1 chaos and if you are a good noodle, then you are on on the way to fate point town. Ooh. I started a holy inquisition, so I would love to get a fate point. Um All right. And we can do Nabine when she is here, um, we can talk about chaos and order and that sort of thing. Did you hear the yell? I did. That the was quite the power. the kitty yell. She is totally silent, and then when she decides she wants to make noise, she is one of the loudest cats I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> just screaming. Yeah, she just shrieks. You know you wanna scream. Um, so yeah. <laughs> you know you make me wanna scream. <laughs> You make me and if I think about it, if we're on 27 episodes and you guys take roughly three episodes for a session, then 11 is about the right, yeah, the right number. We definitely need to be careful with the RP because we're screaming out quick now. 
Say that again? Like, don't get me... I said we definitely got to be careful with the RP because we're screaming up quick, and I'd hate to go through, like... I know people want to get to, like, the third one, but to hit the third one, like, by the time this ends, all, going through the second one all from one mission seems excessive. Oh. Oh, yeah. When you said RP, I was like... Oh, roll yeah, sorry, yeah. I was like, I, you're fine. I don't know what's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so. But, yeah, so the, the reward points, I... Yeah. Yes, reward points. I I am trying to pace it to what I think is appropriate. Yeah. Um, obviously, this part of your lives is way more adventuresome than yeah. even like the the basic sash bearer stuff that came before. Um, also, I technically still don't even have my spells. I don't know if that was... I can, We know it talked about it at one point. Did, was it something you were just going to say I got or from... Because I haven't dedicated any time to research anything like that since I've yeah. become the excelibent or even just before. So that's one thing I've wondered about. Because it seems odd to just be like, hey, I suddenly know these spells randomly. Yeah. And... And I haven't had time to go get regions for it either. The ones like I am interested in. Yeah, and so do they have? Do they have some like big time weirdo ones? Yeah, the scalps of like, oh six yeah, prostitutes, <laughs> tied prostitute scalps. Um, Classic. You Classic. know when you're just like, you go to the store and you get your your food, and then you're you're in the exit aisle. Yeah. And you're just like looking. And you know it's there to bait you, but yeah. you just gotta grab gotta those buy six prostitutes half a dozen together. <laughs> You know, right by the register they know where to place it they, they, yep. they know you're waiting you're you're bored you're hungry yep it's like you know what i really go for just six scalps specifically <laughs> prostitute scalps yeah. tied yeah. together into a lasso uh, um yeah so i am honestly kind of okay with you having some new spells um more so based on the idea of when you have downtime Celine is probably like thinking about it at least a little bit um but i still don't have the regions for like one of yeah them, so it it doesn't fucking matter and it sucks. Yeah, so the... Because at the rate we're going, I'm going to get through all this and then be like, look, guys, we're our third job, but I still don't have access to my spells. Yeah. Yeah, pranked. And... You should fight a magically divine wolf that comes out of the woods to get your <laughs> ages. Um... Six six prostitutes, prostitutes. six prostitutes just jump Celine. All right, you walk back to the trash rat. You're like, yo. So I know there's a bunch of you trash rats in there. <laughs> How many prostitutes you got? I need at least six. Yeah. And I'll give them back. I just need part of them. Yeah. I just need their scalps. So I mean, six. You're a very energetic little one. Aren't you? <laughs> you have no idea. In I, I am again happy with figuring out some way for you to have access to your new stuff. Um, Do they just have scalps in the trash? I mean, they <laughs> they did tell you that they they have contact at least partially or in the past with mm -hmm. other man things yeah. um i would like literally have to send them on a mission for me while we're here <laughs> yeah or you know i would be happy like letting you temporarily make you know like what if you got six Skurzak pelts and you tied them together and and use that um or something like that where you know I you mean, still have to make only if he bangs the rats <laughs> you have to make an effort to get the you reagent jerk them off <laughs> yeah you can <laughs> but wait this, so this is another moral judgment idea <laughs> does jerking I'm someone going, off I'm make them a prostitute 
I'm following the perversity, remember? I thought you were implying that if you jerked off the rats, that they would become prostitutes and therefore oh, no. qualify. No. I'm not gonna pay them. Yeah, but if you pay them, they become prostitutes. <laughs> that is true. You just, you jerk them <laughs> off and then go, here's a coin. And they go, what? And then you scalp them. Yeah, then you take the scalp and... <laughs> I have made you a prostitute <laughs> yeah. and the magic is complete. Yeah, this is like, this is that same idea of like the, the sort of um, zero sum corruption or whatever <laughs> of like, of like, you know... What do you need to do to satisfy the, the? Yeah, no, it's right. It's like the magic. The magic doesn't know, right? The yeah, magic, yeah. Is the magic making a moral? Exactly. No. Yeah, like there is. There's one. There's one qualification. Someone banged and was paid for it <laughs> at then, least once in their life. Then they receive permanently the debuff prostitute. Oh, prostitute. Yeah. <laughs> can then be harvested for the reagent. Yeah. And, you know, what you don't realize is it's like one of those weird magic things, right? So once you scalp them, you look underneath and there's, like, the A, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, oh, like, God. some that's some Westworld shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you're just tuning in, we're talking about jerking off Pang <laughs> and then scalping another <laughs> sentient creature. Yeah. Well, yeah, because it's it's a spell reagent, okay? It's it important. It's, it's for magic, mom. <laughs> yeah. it's for ma you wouldn't understand. Dungeons and you Dragons. Your game, sweetie. <laughs> yeah, I just jerked a guy off and scalped him. <laughs> yeah. Did you remember to pay him, sweetheart? <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, he's technically not a prostitute if you don't pay him. Can I put it? Can I put it back on? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, no. I don't need this anymore. You can, take <laughs> you can have your scalp back. <laughs> Jesus. Would that, um, would that take away my corruption if I gave it back? <laughs> no, doing good yep. doesn't yep. get it back. <laughs> doing bad gives you corruption. This is bullshit. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, but this yeah. is the most fun I've had not playing. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're, we're accomplishing important things right now. We, there was oh, some right, there right. was some bookkeeping that we needed to catch up on um but yeah so the the main takeaway is i would like you to have access to your spells and class mm -hmm. features um i also adhere to the sort of core zweihander principle that magic should be weird and hard a little bit yeah um so I that, but i haven't had like any chance to like yeah and I, and it is it is sort of a yeah we don't exactly get to go to the city and then like pick up hookers yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and this this particular arc of the story has been a little frenetic uh, yeah. because you guys are sort of pursuing exactly. a culmination of a goal that has maybe a time limit i did i did yeah. try to tell you guys um before you came through the portal i was like you know, there's not any explicit or specific thing that is pushing you to go through the portal right now. Um, and, and you were very, um, what's the word? Uh, well, co correct in the idea that, oh, we've made this portal to some demi plane where there's a dead God being harvested. We should probably hurry a little bit. Yeah. Um, don't leave that sort of open. Yeah, and so I, I definitely get the idea of being like, you know, no downtime, we're just going to go. Um, but I also do... I also think that if we just, like, took the the airship and we're like, all right, we're just going to go to a town real fast. We got some groceries to pick up. We'll be back. Yeah, and, and you know, hooker scalps are even... Time it does. Oh. Well, I mean, even if you were, like, to take the airship to a town that's like a whole you know potential session of, yeah. <laughs> of 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 that sort of thing um and we'll so make, it'll be a one shot that's just you and celine <laughs> and it'll just be celine in paradise yeah and it's just all a bunch of gruesome debauchery yeah. Oh, and drugs and oh yeah murder. <laughs> oh god um so again we should be, we should figure oh, out some I'm way. Sorry, I counted it wrong. It's nine prostitutes. Is it? Oh man. Yeah. Oh my G -A -P, gosh. GAP Vice City. Yeah. 
Um, so I, just... I, I want you to have your magic, but I want there to be some kind of cost that feels fair. Yeah, um, I get that. Why did I eat that soup? And so yeah, right now you don't have access to it unless yeah. you figure out some way to acquire what you need. Um, it, there must be prostitutes in town. Dead God. <laughs> I mean, like I said, my best bet is trying to get the, the trash rats to find oh, something. I, I go to me. the trash rat and ask them where is the the brothel. Do you guys have, like, a rat brothel? Yeah, something? rat brothel. Oh, can you move us, by the way? We're still on a blank screen from earlier. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, that yeah, was from probably. the that was from the other. By the way, you missed a super fun character session. Nate and Topher and Nacho. We're, we're Chris's gay dads. Yep. Oh, nice. And those new races are super cool. The new races oh, are sure. cool. This is this is where we haphazardly plug the Uzi <laughs> Hander starter set, which is available on Backer Kit that you can go pre-order now because the Kickstarter finished. It's got a bunch of really cool new ancestries and and yeah, rule changes, adult. and yeah. I look forward to that. We should apply some of that. Yeah, there was there was a few. And we're we're kind of getting off into the weeds again yeah, a little yeah. bit, but there's a few very cool um, changes to like how yeah. fortune works and and that sort yeah. of thing. Yeah, and you know my ancestry is like not useful is there at all. Any reason we couldn't just like use the fortune stuff? Yeah, I mean we can. Let's um, just do it. Just, you want to do it right now? Yeah, let's let's really quickly explain it because it's really cool, and I think okay is something that I think will be more fun for everybody. So the way fortune works in the new system is that one point starts in my pool automatically. Mm -hmm. And then the rest are in limbo right now. And so each of you will roll a D six. If it lands on a six, I get your token. If it lands on one through five, you guys get to keep it. It's cool because it just means that some days you're just gonna have an unlucky day and you're gonna have to face adversity. <laughs> someone should yeah, roll. No, someone should roll me. for Chris. Don't let it be me. Uh, Chris is not playing, so. I mean that's true. I guess we could just take one point out. Um. So yeah, the four of you get to keep your tokens in the player pool, and I get my one in the DM pool, and that's how the session will start. Uh -huh. Um. There Go ahead. Were you going to explain what else you can use with it for? Yeah, so they, they added, like, um, it's kind of like the GM intrusion in Numenera, but players can do it. So a player can spend a, a fortune point and be like, okay, it's also kind of like Blades in the Dark. Yeah, uh, yeah, like the, the like, flashback moment or whatever. yeah you like you spend a fortune point and you're like okay well what if there was a ladder here or what if i brought with me an extra grappling hook just because i thought we might need it or etc etc yeah. or like oh uh joe lee comes running out and says you forgot this yeah. and helps in the fight or something yeah <laughs> that kind of that kind of what like, if i knock on the door and there are like Six prostitute deaths that I has called. <laughs> yeah, you you knock you open the door and you find a bunch of half dressed women. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I think Nacho is is meaning he he peers into the pile of trash and is like, oh look, <laughs> six dead oh, prostitutes. Um, nine. It has to be nine. We did establish that. It yes, needs we to only be nine. find six, nine. and it's like, damn. <laughs> yeah, oh, gosh. Don't worry, I'll spend my fortune point as well. Look at this pile. Another oh. three. <laughs> We've done it. <laughs> Hooray. Um, oh my God. So Nesgrin, you ask the trash rats where the nearest brothel is, and <laughs> um, they, the the little the helper guy, the one without the hat, he comes out and he says, "Oh well, all of 
all of the support stuff is in is in the town that way any points in the direction of of the the gods tummy crotch area yeah that would make sense yeah <laughs> down in shady sam's shady shady sam's shanty town of yeah of rats god um yeah and unfortunately rat society well i mean they would probably identify prostitutes but in yeah, in, in terms they don't of them with like gold right it's like shiny stones um and again that, that's like another like does that count <laughs> um, <laughs> um they're like any, ones, for, right? any form of payment yeah, yeah. But... <laughs> if it's a tit for tat literally like I but give then it's tit. like <laughs> but but then it's like, does emotional affection in return for physical affection count? Um, hey, we could we could scalp anyone that's ever <laughs> you been. You could kill anyone. I'm just saying, if you let me like bang you, I'll go fix your roof. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> See, that's yeah, a that barter. That's sure. a barter prostitute. That's for sure a barter prostitute. <laughs> prostitution. Yeah. As long as I think I think the only rule for a prostitution is there needs to be a shared understanding that there is a material is exchange a, a, not necessarily even material just that it's one for another right that something okay. is, you know if they're like you have sex with me and i'll talk your dad into being nicer to you like that but would I'll count i'll kick the shit out of him for you yeah oh yeah it's like you have sex with me and then i'll go beat up tony down the street for you <laughs> yeah like, okay if there's like any sort of shared understanding that an exchange has occurred. Yeah. Okay. But even, if, even like you said, if it's like, I am going to have sex with you so that you love me. Yeah. And that's like a shared understanding. Counts. It counts. It counts. It counts. 100%. Prostitute. Counts. Prostitute. <laughs> See, luckily, Lissa and I never like defined that. We were yeah. All just was... like, I hope you like me. Yeah. It's but a. We're too like... nervous to ask, so we're not prostitutes. Yeah. So as, okay. long, as long as both of you oh are like God. agnostic of the exchange, <laughs> then, yeah. it, then it's fine. Neither of us really knows what we're getting out of it. Yeah. We're just sort of going with the flow, right? Jesus Christ. <laughs> See, and this is, this is some of that like philosophical bullshit that we were talking yeah, about earlier. Exactly. Oh God. It's like what you you done? need yeah you need like a a wand of prostitute detection to be like oh no okay oh oh here's one that right. damn spell from Dimension Twenty like uh, a seek maiden or whatever yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly oh God, yeah um but yeah I was gonna say is that that there are probably dead rats in this garbage pile that if you were to cast seek prostitute on them would qualify it's just very hard to tell yeah. among all of the rat bodies can he make an arc <laughs> can he make an arcane check on the corpses i mean if anything it would be something like scrutinized yeah here you can see where the, their inner thighs oh. are bruised Ooh, they've got herpes god i mean if we're getting into the the nitty gritty of this i could almost see arcana in the idea of like oh, i'm oh. searching for reagents incantation. yeah so incantation yeah, yeah. where you're like picking through the bodies and you're like oh this one has lit up as if it were you know suitable oh. for my rope Jesus my Christ. lariat of scalps oh god um so mage usually makes their own regents yeah so Maybe Selene so could make a prostitute out of and then sculpt it. Well, that's what, yeah, we were talking about that yeah, earlier. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or we could take all the sculpts from all the bodies in the trash and, and just, just try it. That. Yeah, trust other them all, and maybe nine, they're all prostitutes. So. Oh, yeah. So if you just had a big, long rope. Of all the scalps, there's gonna be nine in there. <laughs> Somewhere in there. <laughs> that uh, that now, count. Now, if I had any healing magic, we could just scalp Celine and then heal it and then scalp her again. Oh my god. <laughs> it's homegrown. Sounds like a legendary item. Yeah. Like a, <laughs> a, a 
a rope lasso made of your own prostitute scalp. Yep. Oh my god. Nine of them what? magically yeah, recovered. What if it's a really powerful prostitute? Like if we get a level nine prostitute, does that count? <laughs> See now level this is nine prostitute. Now we're getting or more. Like, it's more philosophical, right? One like, really heavy oh my one. God. Oh but what? Why God. does physical mass matter? Like we we talked well, about the mass on the head. No, no, right? it's not about mass. It's about skill. Yeah. Oh. So I have an idea. I, I have an idea. I have an idea. We have uh, someone in the barrow, right? So oh. We could, we could spend... You can spend Trish. her RP to make her a prostitute. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she make her a prostitute. She's got so much banked RP. She could yeah. just. Jesus Christ. We'd be so, one. We brought her. We consumed one of our charges on the gate to make <laughs> the barrel. Here we go. Oh, so um, to be fair, I like I should clarify the whole thing. It is a three-yard length of rope woven from scalps of nine prostitutes. Yeah. That's a lot. of yeah, that's a long Damn, rope and a lot so of scalps. Long yeah. Rope. Nine yards. Yeah. Nine three yards. Three yards, three yards nine scalps. Three yards, nine scalps. Nine scalps. Yeah. But what if it was like I don't know the scalp of a T Rex? I mean, if the T Rex knowingly engaged in an exchange of goods <laughs> for sexual favor. We or we could we could do it to penguins because we know that penguins do it. Well, yeah, but so nine is important. It has to be nine. Um, Find nine penguins. Yeah. And or so monkeys. Monkeys the do. the length of rope, I think, is sort of just descriptive. Um, Probably. Very alarming. But yeah. That is quite alarming. I'll give you so so spell? what are what are the other spells that you were looking at? Uh. The there's the one I still need to finish myself, which I can do. But the other one, this one would be much easier. It's also uh, a fair bit weaker, um, which is fine. Domino of Desire. I need a liar's tongue held inside a jar. Okay. So I just get hearts. <laughs> I like my tongue. I mean, there's a bunch of dead rats here. I could just be like, this guy lied to you, right? Sure. <laughs> you just <laughs> cut them all out and then test them. Just You're have a wrong. have a jar of too. tongues. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you only need one that works, right? So you just get yeah. a bunch, and then you cast. Nope. Throw it away. Yeah. Cast. Nope. Throw it away. Um. Yeah. So that's not too bad. And the the scalp thing is that like lariat of desire or whatever, right? Uh, that is etheric. Uh, etheric strapado. It's where you oh, take yeah. the shit out of them. Yeah. Yeah. I just. I have this horrible image in my head of us just like kicking in the door to a rat brothel and just like slaughtering, <laughs> killing him, <laughs> scalping him. Like that scene from Game of Thrones, like yep. <laughs> raiding the the brothel. Yep. And then and then it's like, do we gain corruption for this? <laughs> Was this bad? Was it? They are. They are <laughs> yeah. people in, in in the bowels of a god yeah, that we're like, here to save. They probably would have died anyway when what, he stood up. What counts as an enemy combatant? I don't know. Were there civilians in the <laughs> exactly? Game? Right? Oh, yeah, man. I'm just. A, I'm just like a. You know, I'm just here. You know, I was born here, lived my whole life here. Don't know any different. But yeah, I am evil. So <laughs> yeah, just like. Um, I do, I do love that we have had this conversation today. <laughs> it's been um, very it's been fun. Wild. Uh, if anyone here actually would love to give us some feedback on your, uh, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> your, your point of view on the morality of slaughtering rat prostitutes for their scalps. Yeah. And, and just in general, the idea of, of corruption and morality and that sort of thing. And of course, Nate's character just messes it up so much with the idea that Celine's order alignment, her her good boy points are now perversion. And so then what that are... Go ahead. That Sorry. throws a wrench into this idea of like universal sort of like broad spectrum corruption and and order. Um and Heart, your order is what devotion. It has to be, yeah. Because uh, duty. duty, duty, 
Okay, yeah. and so yours is duty, which explains a lot why you would go into the... Pre I think that's sort well, of no, the way out of this conundrum. His his thing changed to duty when he became a pledge yes. guard. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I, what I mean is I think this is actually the way out of this problem we found yourselves in. Because it's not really what is morally good or bad. It's subjective, it's, yeah. It's are is what you're doing more aligned with the concept of humility or incompetence. Yeah, and that's how it's um, supposed to be interpreted, which is yeah. why it's so hard, and why yeah. why I feel like sometimes it's it hard. So it's hard to find magnetic. instances to to apply it. Um, what is Nesgrim's? What is Nesgrim? What is your order? Mine is. I'm. You will love this. I'm uh, MPT, no, huh? Yeah, M impiety Im and heresy. Im yeah, impiety yeah, and impiety. heresy, yeah, so like. So being religious? Yeah, being or devoted? No, I'm, I, I'm, yeah, I'm, no God has pet your belly or filled your mug. Oh, will they oh have anti -religious? Yeah, yeah. Self-sufficient yeah. versus yeah. Heresy, heresy, which is like active, you know, defaming the gods or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like pulling my pants down and start peeing over the... Yeah, yeah. Or God. <laughs> yeah. The but then, then it's like, well, so is it just general heresy? Is it bad to be mean to yeah, any well, from, God? Yeah, from whose point of view? Yeah, right? right? But you could see from my point of view how you're the bad guy. The guys. Jedi are the bad guys. Um, Not from a Jedi. So, yeah. And how many yeah, you guys see, are that's one? That's why we two, can't three, be friends, four, Nesgrim. Because <laughs> if we're friends, then you become a worse person, apparently. Well, no, but like that idea of impiety is the order side, where like you I guys, know. you guys could be friends, and Nesgrim could be like, "Hey, you're doing a cool thing. You know, Winter King, he's totally chill. Uh, but I'm, really? I'm, I'm gonna do me. But if, if then Nesgrim slips into the like, oh, you know." Look at you being the puppet of the Winter King, you little. Uh, I will be no. It, it will be more like I self-sufficient and then I got so to the point that I do heresy. Yeah, and that's the that's the that's that like balancing I go point. To the other side. Yeah. Yeah, you're like I I hate or like I distrust God so much that I'm going to do wicked things because I. I what, don't I, believe yeah. in them no, no. so much. Yeah. I don't do wicked I do wicked things because I don't I don't trust God will help me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, like I go I do those because I do I'm self reliant, so I'm as I'm, I'm so self reliant I end up being heretic. Yeah. And yeah. that's that uh the trying yeah. to find the Why why I will pray for food but like I hunt it, you know. Yeah, when you yeah. can do it yourself. And then, and then yeah. that's another one of those gray areas of like, you know, at what point do you trip over into heresy versus? Like, is it does it? You have to like rob a priest. Yeah, like what is the? Is, is that where Jesus. the line is? Yeah. Like, or yeah. is it like? Like to rob a priest. Yeah. Yeah, like doing anything against any sort of religious order, like I have any, any but time the you on my any back. time I'll you cross. Them from neutral towards the church to like anti-church <laughs> is that Thank corruption you the money for the donation yeah yeah thank you give me money thank you pick it up Ooh. for me thank you <laughs> that's heresy <laughs> yeah. corruption you heretic um so yeah i think the the thesis of this whole basically entire episode where we've got like 40 minutes left oh, um no is that we as a group should have more conversations about corruption as we're playing i think we should each of you should be uh more mindful of your your order and chaos like sides and i should definitely be more i don't know, like try and put you in situations that that force you to choose one or the other i guess 
Yeah, good luck with yeah. that. You know what? You've seen what mine are. Mine's perverse and martyred. <laughs> well, you're a little different. So He's you're... never going to want to be a martyr. Yeah. He's only, he's only sacrificed... I for just him, have to like, do I, vile uh, things in general. Yeah. He's only sacrificed against his own nature, like, once. And that was <laughs> for the purpose of apologizing after we all beat the crap out of him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so... Everybody was mean to me for some reason. Celine... <laughs> get it. Celine is an interesting case where... It's almost like like morality min maxing <laughs> um, <laughs> like I I am I the person that I am and the gods that I follow want me to be a filthy little pervert and so that's what I'm going to do <laughs> like that's right <laughs> Well, I mean, it's not, the weird thing is it's not different from me. Yeah. The person that I am and the god that I follow wants me to be righteous and yeah. and protect the weak. So that's what I do. Yeah, but, but being righteous but and I'm protecting just, the weak is is sort of naturally selfless. More difficult. Yeah. yeah. Whereas being yeah. perverse is just what Celine does yeah, on a day-to-day -day you know, basis. Seduce, seduce the big bad evil guy, you know. It's an easy way out. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, uh, that's so funny. Uh, of course, there are the the things that cause corruption that are sort of um, outside Normal of stuff, you know, yeah, like, murdering things. Well, no, like innocent. like oh, taking yeah. taking injuries, suffering from. Oh yeah, there's that, but like there's also just the generic list in the book too. Yeah, but even those are like so somewhat broad because you guys have certainly murdered a lot of things. Um, well, it's like it's we not even killed broad. That many it's like, so yeah, it's murdering like an innocent or something like that. Yeah, like, it's like nine corruption. Not, yeah, usually, usually it's murder uh, or like uh, murdering an ancestry. Blood? I'd have to find it. Yeah, ancestry. yeah, like a a, a core ancestry like kind of thing. because yeah. there's that that sort of strange uh, outsider idea of like orcs and Skurzak and okay, and yeah, because like some of the major offenses are one is just like. For the pretty much out like out of the question committing a sex crime yeah uh premeditated murder sadistic torture um using a cursed artifact or relic to alter reality suffering a grievous injury yeah um so we altered yeah. reality with a cursed artifact it yeah just happened to be a <laughs> living thing creation of a powerful unholy artifact or relic when form and... a ritual with which requires a blood sacrifice now, of an i yeah. I sanctified an unholy relic. Yeah. Does that mean that I've made a holy relic? Well, I, I had planned to give corruption if any of you failed your resolve test to go through the portal, but literally all of you passed that. And so I was like, okay, well, they're all they're all fine with it. Um But yeah, because there's there's those like Things that cause corruption just for the the sake of challenging your worldview or your understanding of reality versus being moral in any way, um, which is another sort of different. Expo anything that like exposes your mind to the the aether, as it will. Yeah, but it, even even like taking injuries, that idea of like facing your mortality, um, you know having potentially your future permanently altered by losing a limb or having your eye gouged out or whatever. Those are all, yeah. and they call them offenses, which is like kind of a little odd. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Where it's like, um, but, but yeah. So was there anything that you guys wanted to ask about or clarify in terms of what you guys are doing here at the... What's in the cave again? The cave leads to, as far as you were told, the outside world. And so it your characters assume that means that the caves connect to this vast network of other caves like the one that was underneath Pertzwell Castle uh, that the Skurzak used to travel around and everything. And is this the Hollow Earth? I mean, 
in <laughs> in in <laughs> fantasy like settings where you have subterranean societies like dwarves and ratmen and drow and that sort of thing the the underdark is basically like hollow earth kind of well yeah i mean the the drow certainly are but in like tolkien fantasy i wouldn't say that the dwarves are like hollow earth level i mean the the earth is like the crust is like what like a mile multiple miles thick yeah so like you can have enor truly enormous yeah. underground labyrinths that span Tunnels and stuff. huge distances without it ever like just straight yeah. through the middle. That's fair. I, I think if I recall Dragon Age, they actually have a, uh, uh, Jules Burn. Yeah, we talked over. about that. Where there's it's, it's there's not, like an ocean. It's an ocean. Yeah, yeah it's like there's an like... ocean in the center, which is what people believed for like you know most of the human society like yeah. 17 the water like the, the water just goes all the way 1800s. down yeah they thought it was like oh there's oceans that must just go through the middle and they probably connect on the other side yeah which i mean um so yeah this tunnel you were told is where other rat clans and um other men folk have previously come to trade with the trash rats or come to to visit the the this setup here the context of which you don't know or weren't yeah. told but it's basically oh, a, i'm gonna ask a simple question that we should have asked already um a, a mr trash rat captain the big boss rat yep he comes out with his little hat on do you know what's what they're doing here the with the yeah the... like slap the hand against the giant god corpse <laughs> well the the mushroom the mushroom grows here yeah what do they do with the mushroom do you guys like eat it well they harvest and experiment and change things and try out different um i was gonna say experiments again I mean, that's probably fine try out <laughs> different experiments and but to what end i think it's for fun well the 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 13 are you know, rose they they come from this yeah, so the eight god mushroom. Are the 13, like, actually here? Or are they, like... Ooh. It's... Both? Mm. So you guys have, like, rat popes? Uh, it's, like... A group of gods. Yeah. No, yeah, they're 13. Yeah. Together. And they're here. S yes. <laughs> he says unsuredly. Cool. Can we talk to them? Not easily. <laughs> Do these caves go to the town? Um. The, like the shanty town? Yeah. And he'll say, yeah, there, there's an exit near the shanty town. Cool. Can you give us directions? Uh, and, <laughs> and he like pauses and he says, how well can you smell? Mm. Not as good as you, most certain." Um, the wolf can. Yeah, the wolf can. Hey, buddy, you, can you <laughs> smell for us? And he looks at you and looks at the wolf and, like, kind of looks around. Can it talk? Oh, it can talk to me. 
Uh, <laughs> and, and um, I'll translate. Yeah, oh. the the rat will basically describe to you this trail of scents to follow. Um, where uh, obviously you'll be moving away from the trash pile, and he'll say when you reach a fork where one side smells like um, you know mildew, and the other side smells like uh, cooking fires, go towards the cooking fires, and then when you reach a three-way where you know etc etc etc. Basically, this this trail of sense to follow, and which will eventually lead to this exit tunnel somewhere near the shanty town, um, and and he says to in warning that these tunnels are not uh, fully straight paths; they curve and switch back. And this is in like three dimensional space as well because yeah. it's it's you know it can go down and then loop up and curve around and so that's why the the directions for say like strictly left right north south don't really work super well um, and so yeah you could probably at least to some extent communicate this to your your wolf um, yeah. I don't know if we want to go there, but now we could, in theory, go there. But is it here is night or day? Um, light, like oh, uh, yeah, we never asked. How was it? So right now, let me think. But it's like a sun and moon. To... Yeah, so there's, there's the sun, there's... It, it is it is whatever time it was when you left plus the amount of time you've been here um, so to no your to oh. your perception maybe God now I have to think about orbital <laughs> dynamics really quick um, oh, <laughs> fucking rises in the east sets in the west earlier in the afternoon a little bit <laughs> than um than in Pertswell. I wish we had that astrologer guy here. Oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot about Eric's character. Yeah, cuz he could always what was it like always well, tell as long as yeah. he can see like the well Nate actually has the thing if he can see the the stars, right? Navigation. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, always It's always only for succeed. navigation. But I mean, still, you could yeah. make a navigation check to figure out which direction. We... So I, oh, I don't. Yeah, and do then that, we yeah. could load up the airship with our military units. Why here? <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So Cannon so. Order fire into the I, chest of the god. To to set that that part of the scene, it is effectively looks like you're on the same planet, in the same dimension. There's a sun. And you are, uh, I don't remember specifically when you guys had this like farewell ceremony and testing of the portal, but it is here on this side of the portal, effectively the same time as when you left. So you traveled presumably distance, but not in time or anything like that. So it's, it's daytime probably like almost noon or something like that. I don't like think that. we have any way to judge that we haven't traveled in time. Yeah. We so, could be 4,000 years in the yeah, past. We would have yeah, yeah. no way to know. So it is from your, your, you know, relativistic position, you entered the portal, came out and were like, okay, it's probably been, you know, however long it took me to travel through the portal is how long time has passed. There wasn't like a your in-flight movie. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're... Uh, so we uh we want to get to this circle tower at some point. 
but it's the yeah. scariest perhaps place on the map. It's it is somewhere One. that the trash rats were afraid of at least. Yeah. Hmm? I need to go to the tower because my mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, we just have no but idea how to get soul, there. My soul my soul my my with my brother in Prince there. Yep, got to rescue can't, rescue the brother. We can't mm -hmm. get on to these balconies because well, there's we, a gate. Yeah, so this, here. this I will is go gated. for the cave. You're going to go for the gate? Oh, God. The, the cave. Is... cave. Oh, the cave. caves. Cave, yeah, okay. Here. Okay. Yeah, that's, I'll, I'll that's the, fine. We will get in, in here. Yeah. The only place we can safely get in the caves is somewhere down around here. And anywhere else that we came out would be pure chance, which I don't know how mean Hunter wants to be, but he could certainly just be like, you failed your navigation check, you're t lost in pitch black and have no <laughs> fucking clue, you starved to death. I wouldn't do that. It would be very funny, though. Yeah. It would It would be some time passing, a role to determine what exit you came out of. Are any of us even mildly decent at navigation? <laughs> I have a 50. Yeah. You have a 50. It's, I'm it's... technically trained in it, so if somebody has a decent role, I could assist them. Yeah. Uh, I have a 48. That's pretty good. To... Oh, wait, you have to... Oh, I'm not trained in it, so I yeah. can't yeah. do it. I have to flip. Yeah, you'd have to flip it. Never mind. It'd just be best if I did it. Um, but before, if we're going to consider that, I want to talk to one of the rats okay. and just basically be like, is there a dead rat in here you really don't like because he was a lion sack of shit? <laughs> the looks at you really weird. Also do the same. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's important. Um, Be right back. Goes into the 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 pile and you hear conversation and comes back out I think we have something like that do you have yeah. trade of course and you throw him out I'm not dead yet <laughs> <laughs> what's it gonna be let's see let's see let's it, what's see. it gonna be a nice new home. How about a tent? All right. Roll. You have a tent. Oh, no. Bargain. <laughs> <laughs> can, can I get a bonus? Because I'd just be like, I just need his tongue. <laughs> um, you can you, get 99% of him. It's a big fucking tent that's a little home, you know, for a dead body. I, <laughs> tongue. I will say that these rats are shrewd tradesmen. And oh, you're the, an ass. the more that you say, oh, I literally, I just need his tongue, the more they're like, okay, we'll trade for it, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I love, mm, trade for it, bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> little bitch creature. Hey, you <laughs> did it. Against all <laughs> odds. success. Yep. Um, for those of you watching at home, uh, Celine, apparently, I know you weren't born this way, but it's very funny to pi picture you being born debt-ridden. As, as <laughs> I mean, it's, it's totally possible with her family, honestly. Yeah. So, so the, I never knew my father. The the character drawback that Celine got <clears throat> is debt ridden, which means at some point in her life she became very bad with money and has to flip to fail any bargain checks, <laughs> which yeah. luckily with a critical success, flipping it just makes it a critical success. Yeah. Um Woo. so you trade this tent over and receive the corpse of a liar rat. Um, what is a good critical success benefit in this exchange? He's what? got something in his pockets that's usable. Ooh, okay. 
He I has one of the scallops I need. It's a storage wars situation. Holy <laughs> <laughs> shit. I mean, it could um, be money, it could be item, something you might consider magic. It's a liar, a liar, and also a prostitute. <laughs> one... They bring him out, like, yeah, this guy kept sleeping with people and then not, <laughs> not paying them. Let's say that, um,. Tucked, tucked in, as you're, like, getting ready to excise the tongue from this rat, you see Don't that um, under his tongue, as you're lifting it to, to cut it away, he had secreted away a key. Key? A key, like an iron key that would be used to unlock a door of some kind. <gasps> What? See, Chucker. There's not like okay, and it's for sure a door, not like a little chest or something. Um, because I would search his person and see if there's anything on him to see if it unlocked something. Yeah, so you don't you don't find anything on him. It's not immediately clear, especially given that the proportions of these rats can vary fairly yeah. wildly. Um. You are not sure if it's a if it's a door oh, key or ask him like do you guys know anything about this? He had a key tucked under his tongue. What what in the world would this even be for? Let alone where the hell did he live? Peers through at the rat at the key, kind of a little taken aback about you cutting his tongue out. <laughs> That's fine. And the boss says, "Well, it's your key now." This, uh, this rat, he worked, and he leans close, in the spiky tower. Ooh. Oh, no wonder they didn't like him. Oh, man. All right, I, I appreciate that. I'll have to be cautious if we're going to go check that out. The spiky tower. The spiky tower. Spike your tower. You guys are good businessmen. I want you to know that. That was like that was a tough trade. That would have been so funny if you would have failed that. How do I we get to the it. spiky tower? Um They don't go there, we ask. Oh, and they I yeah, like walk, he says. What? <laughs> yeah, our flying machine can't go through the portal. What would you guys trade us? For a flying machine. <laughs> it's a flying machine. <laughs> well, I'm not sure. I've never seen a flying machine. That's because you live here, Mr. Trash Rat. <laughs> Far from the flying machines where we're from. Well, rats have many machines, none for flying. Yeah, they're like digging machines, probably, somewhat. Digging machines, magic machines, killing machines. Yeah, that's uh, this one. <laughs> Heart. <laughs> yeah. That's me. All right. Well, what do you guys think? Should we just keep going north around this I've been big old many head? Things. Killing machine is one. Sex machine is another. Gross. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> I high five the tiny rat. <laughs> oh, I thought you were high fiving heart. <laughs> Gross. No. High five. Uh, I'm I'm training the the rat to learn how to high five. Remember? Oh yeah, they they he's picking it up. He's getting it better. <laughs> you guys want to just head north around this uh, head? Uh, see if we can scout like, the outskirt. I would like to peek in the cave. Um, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So you you look into the cave. Maybe take a few steps in. And it's a dark, winding tube of stone that uh, seemingly for the first few dozen feet doesn't have any, like, branches or anything like that. It just sort of curves off into the earth. Um, and I, it, again, doesn't necessarily look like it was dug intentionally because it's just seems to haphazardly mm -hmm. wave and wiggle with the with wiggle the stone. Wave, yeah. And so it would be 
very easy if you were to just start walking, get confused or turned around or or miss an off chamber or that sort of thing, um, which is why the the trash rats implied that they navigate primarily by ascent underground. Okay, what would you all want to do? I mean, well, we can take it. Lillian is in favor things. of doing sort of that, like doing a, a, a route around the body. Yeah, we can do that. Um, Celine's fine with either. Like, she's curious as to what's in the caves, honestly. Yeah, me too. But she also doesn't want to get lost. And without any of us having a strong... Maybe we can... They go by sense of smell. Maybe we can trade them something for one of them to lead us through. A service. With a smile. Mm hmm And I'll be like, but wouldn't you guys be willing to do that? If we give you something, could you lead us through the caves to the other side? Oh. Yeah. What are we trading? Gee. Uh, Don't worry, I got this. You definitely do this. I'm surprised I got the tongue, honestly. <laughs> uh, I can't remember. I'm okay at bargain, right? I don't think I'm trained in it, though. Um, uh, yeah, I don't remember. You guys, there's a. I have potions and salves too. We could offer to trade. Uh, yeah, I can do that. I have. At some of this stuff I have here. You guys have an interesting, like, there's a there's a blind spot in the crew, because you don't have anybody that's like sneaky. You have you have someone who is kind of a face character, but like, in a very specific, General. yeah, yeah. very <laughs> specific narrow way. Um. Honestly, my character is gonna get a rank and charmed and ha is like building like guile. Yeah. So. <laughs> Which is good. I. Yeah. I heave out this minotaur horn. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. This was a trophy that I got when I killed a, a beast minotaur. And I'm very Ooh. proud of it, and it's very interesting. Cool. And he calls into the into the pile to have some individuals come out and and help him, like bring it into the <laughs> into the pile, and it disappears in the in the layers of garbage. And he makes a like a little chipping noise, and the assistant guy comes out and and walks full first time you've fully seen him out of the trash um, and they're only a foot tall <laughs> um and this this guy's like like between three and four feet tall um these are the the small the small He's ones shorter than me about the size of most of our party yep <laughs> and uh says where are we going Well, do we want to do, uh, you wanted to go to this heart area or do you want to try and get him to take us all the way to the tower? I don't think he's going to take us to the tower because they, they don't get near the tower. That's true. He, he can get us close, us close enough close and, then, and, point, yeah, and yeah. Then give us a general direction and we can go from there, but. Spiky tower? Yeah. Yeah. I can take you close, but not going up there. No, we don't expect you to. We just need someone to get us there is all. And you can you hide and wait for us so that you know when we come back you can take us back? Mm. That might be extra trade. Mm. I was told take you there. Yeah. We can uh make a trade for you to wait too and take us back as well. So you know. And he one he, act for one trade, another act for another trade. Yeah, makes a little could, like barking call. The boss sticks his heads up. Sticks his head up. Is there a problem? Well, they uh, they want they want return. Oh, this was uh, <laughs> this was just going. No, 
And that's why I said we're willing to trade for that return trip. Uh, I don't have anything as, as cool as that. I gave you all my really cool stuff already. <laughs> I, I have mean, something. I have something. I have a potion and two salves that no, I No, I have something. I have something. Okay. I have the clear claws from a holy wall. Okay. That's heretic. Yeah, yeah. Right there. That's yeah. a heretic you, point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could be... A, you. If you want corruption, you can have one corruption for that. <laughs> I would say so. Um, <laughs> roll, I'm a little I disappointed. This, <laughs> I have this amazing claws. Harvested from a holy wall, not any wall, a holy wall sent by the Winter King itself. Mmm, interesting. Keep you nice and warm up in these mountains. Yeah, this one. A gesture to the <laughs> yeah. huge white. <laughs> yep. And they they converse to each other in in the language that you understand, but very yeah. rapidly. Um, yeah. They sound like uh, auctioneers. Yeah, kind of like <laughs> almost like auctioneer talk. <laughs> and they settle on that this is an acceptable trade for the return trip. And they will, you know, he'll take the the two, like, claws. Or they're like paws, right? Rear claws from rear claws. Yeah, the rear yeah, claws I, of the, yeah, of the yeah. wolf. Yeah. Really wonderful. I don't think it's the full <laughs> pause. I think it was the claws for the purpose of maybe making gauntlets out of it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, they accept these huge claws. Um, the Velociraptor. Yeah, big old curved <laughs> wolf claws. And he he says, I, you know, I can wait now. Uh, I, won't, I won't wait at the tower, but in yeah. the tunnel, I can yep, wait. That's fine. Okay. How many corruptions did you gain from this? Um, trading away a gift from a friend that had <laughs> religious significance. I feel like one or two is probably good. I mean, yeah, let's go. Two. I don't know. I could see this more. More? How much? Three. But that's just me. Hunter is the. Well, team. no. So what? What is your so, thought? No, I was going two or three, so that's why. Yeah, we could do three. I think three is fair. Mm -hmm. As the person I mean, slighted, that's a gift from a friend, and like it was a meaningful gift from that friend. Like that gift meant something to that friend. As he yeah. just watched them give it away. The religious, I'm like, right here, religious, like, <laughs> like what the fuck, man? <laughs> like, bro, that's yeah, like some holy. Oh yeah. my god. Fair enough. Yeah, but it's go. This goes with my character because I'm. Oh no, yeah, 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 for sure. Yep, yeah. impiety. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. So the the helper rat leads you to the mouth of the tunnel and he says um stick close it's confusing and begins to meander um he he, he starts try and tell the dog to try and follow the way. Oh, okay yeah 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 if he can um roll me there's like an animal skill right there is a an handle animal, animal. Skill. Or animal yeah, handling? Animal. Uh, yeah, it's it, in, in it... fellowship. Yep, handle animal. Yeah, handle yeah, animal. Fine. Yeah, hit me with a handle animal. Uh, I'll make this check. I don't think I get to flip to succeed or anything. Or wait, I, I, thought, I, you weird... a, I thought you had a. I thought you had a weird thing. I have a weird thing. I can just talk to them. Yeah. So I, I don't know. So my, was, my, my thought was you tell them and they understand. And this yeah. check was their ability to do it. Yeah. But then if it's the wolf ability to do the wolf. So should the wolf roll, like, roll like, survival yeah. or something? The, yeah. yeah. Or okay. the wolf the rolls wolf navigation. With uh, a, okay. Yeah. Or something. You have animals around there. That's pretty good. That's I'd say good. I'd say that's a success. Not that I don't have the wolf statistics pulled up, but a twenty six seems <laughs> successful. I, oh, they're enough. all in one book. I should be able to look at it, right? Yeah, they're all they're all in the bestiary. Um, yeah, there should be large animals or something like that. Yeah, I'm looking for it. 
So your your wolf nods in assent, and the the little rat man initially begins scampering off on all fours and realizes that you guys are not that fast on this unhewn stone, um, and so begins to to walk slower with you guys in tow. And this is a truly like circuitous route that you are taking um because you you sort of had this gauge of like oh, okay we're we were on this side of the body and we entered going this way and after like the fourth loop and like drop down a little ledge and walking across you know the to a next cave mouth none of you really know um how you would even get back to where you started or, or that sort of thing. Um, and I think for the wolf, for the wolf it should be like survival because it's following a scent, mm -hmm. like, like tracking. Yeah. So it has like perception of large animal. It has a perception of 45. Oh yeah. And has a plus 10 in survival. So it's like easy 55. success. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that 26 would would absolutely be a success for the wolf. Um I'm going to roll just to see high or low. Someone pick. Hi. All right. So your path is uninterrupted. Every so often, oh, yeah. the welcome, guys. the welcome. the rat guide will like stop and hold up a paw, and he like sniffs the air, cocks an ear to like listen to three different tunnels, and then says, "Okay, it's okay." Um, and he's clearly looking out for other rats using the tunnels, um, hoping to not run into anyone. And eventually, you guys come out from the mouth of a cave that was tucked under and let me under the cliff here beneath the tower so like yeah. the tower is up on this big cliff like mm -hmm. kind of the secondary peak of the saddle and so you are this cliff that you are under is probably like 50 to 70 feet tall. And then this cave is tucked at the very base of this cliff um, out of mm -hmm. sight that none of you saw when you were doing your spiritual Perfect. reconnaissance. Another and so you, entrance. you are able to, if you want, you could wrap this big arcing ramp to come up to the, to the level where this, the tower is sitting on the cape, on the on the peak here. Um and hmm is this where I feel like this is this is a good time to do it. So you guys emerge from the mouth of the cave here and looking kind of like north east-ish from this this mouth of this cave you look up and you see the tower and then something catches your eye there's a weird distortion of the air like way high up in the sky to this direction and it like ripples black and shadowy from like this sort of central point as if a stone has hit um, water, like water that's horizontal or sorry, vertical in the sky. And this black kind of miasma -y rippling peels apart as an airship comes flying through. What the fuck? Um, and begins like a big circling arc going this way. 
and you immediately hear the calls of of sirens and and stuff from back towards the shanty town and everything and the happening? um the airship uh is on a slow descent kind of in this circle and you can just barely see as you're as you're looking up that it is is not piloted by ratmen it is people of some kind um, I'm gonna use my spyglass. Yeah, what kind of I was people? Going to say that. All right. Are they looking mutated or you know nice and fancy or military or piratey? Yar booty. Glad I took that spyglass since I fucking <laughs> became the sniper with that bullshit. So roll me your. Um... Awareness or scrutinize. I could see this as scrutinize. Uh, do I get a bonus at all since I'm using the scope? Um, we'll go to plus 10. Okay. Uh, I'm going to spend a fortune point to reroll that. All right. I don't know if I fail this time. We just leave it at that. Hey, there we go. So, Nate, mm -hmm. Celine peers through the spyglass as this airship banks around, and you see a, a fair number of people kind of milling about on the, on the deck here, pointing down and, and discussing and talking, and an individual catches your eye. You have sort of a thing for large men, it seems like. This is a seemingly nine foot tall man very husky build um he's got fair skin gray hair and you catch his face as he's like turning your direction his eyes are icy blue as he um is holding on to the railing of this airship talking to the people behind him um and you spot a few other people. There's a, a, a human of normal build, a um, armored, uh, shorter individual, female gnome of some kind. Um, let's see. There's another short man dressed in in fine looking clothes mm -hmm. I don't know of some sort and the last is this the last let me make sure that I got all my notes and everything it's a giant horse that no no way! It's the last the party from the, the interlude. The last one is a gnome man wearing what looks to be basically rags, um, bound together by by leather straps. <laughs> and you said the icy blue. And I'm like, wait a second, that sounds familiar. <laughs> Husky, nine foot, fair skin, gray hair, ice blue eyes. What have you done? Are you going to bang your own character? And so they they swing their airship wide as the alarm bells and screams raise from the Skurzak encampment on the body of the dead god. And so that, they don't seem happy that they're here. And that is where we will end our session for tonight. Good, old, wow. okay. good old Nibis Farcer. You're a the one person. and only. The sixty-nine-year-old gnome beggar. Um. Oh, so yeah, we'll, I we'll missed ride. a lot of your description. Sorry, I got so focused on ice blue, and I started looking <laughs> like it's more. Well, that's why I did that first, because I wanted you yeah. to. I wanted you to get it as soon as possible. The ice blue eyes. You said that like, wait a second, <clears throat> doesn't Celine? No, it's not Celine. And so yeah. I fucking, like made a beeline instantly, looking for the character sheet. Husky, nine foot, fair skin. 
I sure hope Nimbus's pet rat Woodrow's doing okay. So we will have oh, a conversation man. sometime before next week about what you guys think or want to have happened to these uh, interlude characters in the intervening time between when they stole the uh, difference engine and Advanced now. Never right. get caught. Well, yeah, Stop allegedly. Sorry. Uh, allegedly stole the the difference engine. Yeah, it just went missing. It wasn't yeah. stolen. <laughs> it was, you can't prove it. Um, how many? How much time has passed since the star fell? Um, so months. Right? It has been at least. So what I when the very first thing that I wrote for you guys said that you guys were captured roughly three months after the star fell. And so it would be three months plus however much time we think has passed for your Scarlet Sash story adventures, which would be probably another two oh, months oh. at least. Yeah. Maybe another three. It's been a very busy couple of months. Um, and so it's going to be like half a year or so since Morg and Nibis and Tenen and Orissa and Arnulf have been on the lamb. And so Which we will uh, the the escaping criminal punishment lamb. Classic. Oh, man. I, I told you my plan for him. I was like, if I ever go back to him, he's probably going to go for, like to become a witch hunter. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. The polar opposites of each other. And man, he would, you know, depending on what happens, could meet Agent Bruce. You're right. Um, You're right. So that's where we'll end. The uh, surprise cameo of our, of our um, interlude characters from back when Cody had to do a bunch of real life shows we did a, a prequel few episodes describing how exactly this part of the world was magically destroyed and so here we are thank you for That's watching to close this on you should roll cor cor corruption oh yeah yeah do we want to do we want to roll corruption <laughs> you mean yeah. zero corruption yes yeah i want like an to. order rank I can. mean, we can if we want. If we want to do it after every episode, we can. It's gonna. It's gonna like supercharge your order and corruption ranks. Um, yeah. We just gotta crack down on any corruption. I mean, would I have gotten any corruption from what I did, like cutting out the tongue or anything like that? It is like a scaven, but it is still kind of defiling a body. So, I mean. But is it that in service of your perverse nature? Like, the perverse is definitely more like sexual because of where it's. Well, does I guess desire? That's the thing. You like with the way that is because like perverse can be like have to do with my desire. You can twist it. Yeah. I mean, I'd consider that still like a minor offense. Okay. Because like, what's based... the alternative? It's it's martyrdom. Right? Yeah, martyrdom yeah. is the corruption. It's like, <laughs> yeah, because, like, the minor offenses, like, defacing a tomb or grave robbery, like, petty thievery, uh, things like that. Like, I could see, like, defacing a body or whatever. Yeah. I'm well, fine like, with that. The, the like, we're, like, at least a corruption point, because we yeah. really got to start, if we're going to roll every session, we really got to start fishing for, like, corruption. I, yeah, I'm fine yeah, with, so with, with piling it on and rolling every yeah. session if we want. Um, yeah. we can, we can sort of radically change how we're, uh, so, going like, about if it. Gonna, if people are going to get a lot more fate points, you can like start go much harder. Yeah, start killing you. More. Exactly. <laughs> but, but, well, how are you going to handle it? You're going to do the sessions and we, because if we do every other session, we will eventually forget about it. Yeah. So let's roll, let's do every session and I'm, I'm good with, with just, nailing you with corruption even when yeah. if there's ever a question we'll just say yes you get corruption yeah it but doesn't even have to be a lot just be like we're not sure a couple points or something. yeah that's fine we could 
we could use if you don't have zero corruption we could go with the with terms of freedom like you choose which way you go oh yeah that's fair good we could we could do that so even if you have zero corruption you can gain uh, a chaos um, rank yeah 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 do we want to do is that a is that i haven't done flames of freedom is that a dm authoritarian rule or is it like oh, congress of the cast no no it's your it's your it's your choosing yeah. yeah oh really the player, the player yeah. when you just yeah. used yeah, when you have zero corruption, you yeah. could choose to go to Oh, if belief. you're of zero yeah. corruption. Yeah. If you have zero, you have okay. you could go to beliefs or, or flaws. Yeah. Just because okay. you didn't right. do anything bad doesn't mean you're not a bad person holding it in or anything. <laughs> I suppose that's fair. So, suddenly, suddenly it's revealed that like someone's a mass murderer. You haven't done anything evil. I know, but I have nine but chaos But I rings. wanted to. <laughs> I've been holding you all in waiting for this moment. That's like even worse of a moral question. Yeah, like, right. Oh, sorry. I'm a bad person. I've just never done anything bad. I just keep thinking about it. Yep. No, I just mean like they've been like res holding off. On yeah, restraining acts. themselves. I got first, I'm the first person to get an extra fate point. You did it. Good job. All right. I'll lose all of them when I hit okay, my third I job if I survive. Rank. Yeah. It's it's just one roll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, yeah. you roll. GM rolls. Oh, oh I GM do it? Rolls. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, one roll for, yeah. one roll for okay. everybody. One roll okay. for all. Get hit. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> getting an order rank. That's yeah. perfect. Yep. For me. <laughs> Um, oh, I got no, the good boy now. Point. My initiative is down a bit. Yep. <laughs> That's you're, okay. You're no I'm, longer I'm paranoid. Close, I'm close to where I need the order rank, so... So I can get my demonic gift. Oh, yes, that yeah. is... It's just a katana. <laughs> it's like, here's a katana. It's from, it's from a mall. Can't it be like a tongue katana? No, it's just no, a fucking this sword. Is, what more do sorry, you want? We studied this the is blade. a shitty yep. gift. Pleasure my ass. They, we intend well, to. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Like, it's not even like Saints Row with dildo, so I heard that or whatever. <laughs> no, we're gonna pleasure your ass with the katana. Uh, with uh, that what note. Total... <laughs> Go ahead, Topher. I was gonna say, what total RP points should we be at? Oh, God, you can't ask me these it's questions. different from ours. It's different from... His. Everyone no, should, be the same. should be the same. Yeah. Your current right. would be different. Me and Nate's was different though. I got like an extra forty or something for something. Yeah, we. Yeah. I, Lillian, Nate, I think have four thousand four hundred and forty. Right? Yeah. So it should be four thousand four hundred, ish. I have thirty three hundred. Forty three hundred. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds right. Forty three hundred. Um, so yeah, this has been kind of a weird episode of Scarlet Sash Stories, but we, we did some Very important, chatty. yeah, we did some important talks. It's good to, you know, especially with really long running campaigns, um, to, to do some bookkeeping and make sure everybody's on the same page and understand where we're going and what rules we're using and following. Um, and we did a little bit of in-game stuff, talking to the trash rats and, and finding a, a path. And so thank you for watching. We will be here again next Friday at 9 p.m. Well, depends. Maybe 8 p.m. 8 or 9. I will, I will make sure to let people know ahead of time. Tomorrow or next week, Friday night. We'll be doing more Scarlet Sash stories here on the official Zweihander RPG channel. This is a production of Fiends and Friends. That's all of us here. We have yeah. other shows that you should watch. We have our yeah. own Twitch channel called Fiends yeah. and Friends. On that channel, tomorrow, we will be playing Call of Cthulhu at 1.30 Central. Um... We are at the sort of penultimate or ultimate episode of a of an investigation I can never tell with you guys. <laughs> involving a, I, a curse. I, I, I love it. 
yep. as short as possible and things can go off the rails so hard. Yep. <laughs> Look, it's your fault for rolling the 98 when he backed up the boat, Cody. Yep. That's true. Yeah, no, that was, I mean, he, the chances of you guys succeeding that was really low anyway. Yeah. Oh God. Um, so yeah, that uh, really interesting Call of Cthulhu investigation involving haunted radio signals and zombie fish people and a boat full of herring that make you crazy. Um, and so tune in tomorrow at 1.30 Central. Then Monday at 9 p.m. Central, we will be playing Numenera continuing our our playthrough of the spire of the hunting sound module which has been very fun and then on wednesday at 9 p.m central we will be continuing lancer rpg for fleeting themes we've been doing ready i'm getting ticked on yeah we've, we've been doing some some mech action we ended in the middle of a of a pretty close fight Pitch, uh, pitch, pitch battle. Pitch, pitch battle. I can't go all out. You fucked me, Hunter. <laughs> pitch battle between our our Lancer, uh, <laughs> Nebraskan hegemony, Royal Guard facing off with meat monsters and little mannequin people and and gravity witches. Very cool. Really Turning enjoying it. Barbecue. Yep. Um, on their way to investigate a a city destroying structure of some kind. So please follow this channel, follow our Fiends and Friends channel, check out our other stuff. We love you. You're beautiful. Have a good night.